Oh, the movement. This piece needs to tour, it needs to go everywhere. Everybody needs to see this piece. This work, called The Movement, is about the civil rights movement. What a powerful time. We came out of the 60s and into the 70s and how extraordinarily bonding it was with community. And bringing those two companies together, my company with Colorado Ballet, they came together like that, like one. And it was magical because we had one intention and that was oneness. I feel like the piece is about change. Oh, and that's one thing I love too. Everyone was just open to change. The world, I feel like sometimes separates us apart because they say, you're in ballet world, you're in modern world. No, we're all our dancers. You know, you want to be the change that you want to see in the world, and we were doing that there in that space. Really feeling united behind one cause, no matter how we looked. Us modern dancers like, dang, we want to do 50 million pirouettes too, and then they look at us like, dang, we want to contract like that. So we kind of like took, you know, the ins and outs out of each other, and we meshed, and it was beautiful. The human body has this uh, natural innate connection that it just goes beyond what's on the, on the outside. On our last day, they gave me a beautiful smelling <laughs> candle that represented the light that they felt like we brought to them. And when I tell you I'm not a crier, but I was like, I feel like a little moisture. There's a little moisture. It just let me know that we can change the world. We weren't just ballet dancers anymore, but we were humans that had something to say. Dance is really a nonverbal way of storytelling. We're telling Swan Lake, we're telling Sleeping Beauty. These are stories that we've inherited. But I think that what we need to do is tell our stories now. The facts are that black people are dying. I mean, we have an opportunity to take, unfortunately, something that we've been crying out about that keeps going full circle and try to break that circle. I think this piece is timeless. This issue is a very old issue. Uh, it's not resolved yet. At the end of the piece, throughout all of what's happening, there's hope. I love dancing because, you know, sometimes you can't necessarily speak your emotion. And so, being able to give hope without saying a word, yeah, that, that definitely is going to play a big part in what's happening today. We need to take it up a notch. We actually need to do, make some changes, and I feel like this generation is very open to that, and I think we're very loud about it. As much as I love the piece, I don't want to keep singing the same tune. I don't want to keep doing the dance and having to having to fill it so deeply. I want to be able to be like, oh, you know, this is something that we went through, but we're no longer here. Right now we're seeing a lot of symbolism. George Floyd is a symbol. He's a symbol. And we've had many symbols. Now we have to do the work. It's such an important thing that everyone is able to see this piece. I want you guys to watch it. Keep watching it every day. Stream it live, show your friends. I love it. Don't miss this opportunity to see something completely unique, off the charts, energetic, and hopeful. If you love your community, no matter where they are from, and that you love dance, come watch us. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Black Lives Matter. <laughs>